How to set up shipping rates in WooCommerce tutorial for beginners. Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you all are doing great and are having an amazing day. I bring you back with yet another WordPress or WooCommerce tutorial. And in this tutorial, we're going to be discussing how we can add our very own shipping rates to WooCommerce. Now, if you don't know what WordPress or WooCommerce is, uh, WordPress is basically the greatest online platform that allows you to basically pursue your e-commerce or online marketing. You can make your very own web store. From there on out, you can add your products, sell your products, sell whatever you like. And yeah, the basic overview gist. And we're going to be discussing for uh, the products that we have on our WordPress page or our WooCommerce, I'm going to teach you how you can add shipping rates for those products on your WooCommerce. So it's going to be very easy. It's going to be very simple. I'm going to explain it in the easiest steps and ways possible. And I just want you to sit back and relax, watch till the end of the video and follow all my instructions. And I guarantee you that by the end of this video, if you listen to all of my instructions, you will properly know how to add shipping rates to your WooCommerce. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So first of all, we're going to go to our WordPress.com. Now, if you're not familiar with WordPress.com, you can get yourself familiarized right now. It's uh, the world's most popular website builder. You can see all these great designs. You can build simply and you can make different newsletters, etc. It's just amazing. It's great. And it has a very user friendly website that you can play around with. Now, obviously, to get started, we're going to come to the top right. Click on let's get started. Now I'm using temp mail for now to uh, make my mail. I'm just going to go on temp mail real quick. I'm going to wait for that mail to load up till then. You can make any random uh, username if you want to. I'm just making this right now because I don't really want to remember it. Make sure you keep one that you can remember and you're going to create a password, a strong one that is less likely to get hacked because websites like this do have a lot of scammers. So uh, I'm just going to get this copied. Now I'm going to paste it over here. I'm going to click on create your account. And once we do that here, it's going to ask us to choose our domains. Now we can skip this. We can like choose our domain later, or you can just, uh, let's say I want my domain to be named cookie and it's going to start giving me domain names. So look at this now freecookie.com, tcake.blog, freecookie.org, cookie.page. We see all these different domains, but obviously these are paid. They're free for the first year, but then later on, you're going to have to pay $45 per year or $15 per year, depending on what domain name you took. You can use WordPress's own free domain though. So if you want to use that, go ahead. I know it's not the most appealing wordpress.com, but uh, it's what you get for free. So once you're here, here, they're going to give you these uh, plans because obviously WordPress is a platform that gives you the authority to choose your very own domain and create your very own e-commerce page. So they wouldn't let you do that for free because that's too much privilege. So they're going to give you these plans. It's the $4, $8, $25, $45 per month. You can choose any of these you want. The features in them are amazing. Or you can just start with a free site if you're just here to see how the e-commerce world really works. Now we're just going to wait for this to load up. Now once it loads up, as you can see, it starts asking your goals and it asks us this so it can optimize the website accordingly. So then you're just going to select any one of these. I'm just going to skip to dashboard right now because this doesn't really concern me. Now, once you're on your dashboard, what's going to happen is basically this is where all the magic happens. Now, I'm going to walk you through all the dashboard and tell you what everything is. And from there on out, I'm going to show you how you can access this little feature here to add your shipping rates. What you see in front of you is your basic dashboard. This is your home page for your WordPress or WooCommerce website. Now, obviously, you're going to start by giving your site a name. You can do that later. You can update your home page, confirm your email address and just get into all of that later if you want to. First of all, I'm going to get into the topic of the video, which is the WooCommerce and how you can add shipping rates. So obviously in this left hand bar, you're going to click on WooCommerce. Now, once you click on WooCommerce here, it's going to say verify your email address before setting up a store. Obviously, you're going to do that uh, right now. I need to tell you something that before everything you do, 
WooCommerce can only be set up on a paid account. It can be accessed on a free WordPress account. You need to have, I repeat, you need to have a paid uh, WordPress account. It can either be the $4 or the $8. The price doesn't matter, but you need to have a paid WordPress account because without that, WooCommerce does not work. Uh, it won't allow you to access WooCommerce. So uh, once you uh, verify your email and open your WooCommerce, it's going to start giving you options here. Now, obviously, those options won't be available until you have a page and post. And I'm going to get into that right now on how to make pages, posts and put up products. But before that, I'm just going to explain once you open your WooCommerce in these boxes and ribbons, it's just going to say uh, it, it's going to look at your products and then under your products or above your products, it's going to give shipping rates or add shipping rates. And from there on out, you can just add your shipping rates according to whatever your requirements are and according to whatever ship you please in. So you can just add all of that. And once that is done, you're just going to save it. And from there on out, the customers which are going to buy or obviously uh, put your product in their cart will see those shipping rates that you've added using WooCommerce. Now, obviously that won't happen if you don't have a page and posts on it. Now, how do you create a page and how do you put posts on it? To create a page in this left hand bar, you're going to click on pages. Now, once pages loads up here, you're going to click on add new page. And once you click on add new page, you're going to wait for it to load up. Uh, it takes a second to load up. So we're just going to wait for that. So now once it loads up, obviously you can start with a blank page or a blank canvas if you have your own creative mind and you don't want to use templates. Even though the templates are amazing and great, you can use those, but you can just start a blank page. I'm just going to use a template for now, so let's use this one. Now here's the template. Obviously this is a template, so you can play around with it. You can change the text or whatever you like. Let's say I write here the domain name I took, which is cookie. Now, from there on out, you can just publish it from here and we're just going to wait for it to load. And there we go. Our page is created, which is called cookie. Now, here's the link to our page. We can copy it. Even if we click on view page, it's going to take us. Look at that. So this is our page. Now I'm going to go back to my WordPress website. I have created my page. Now I want to add posts on it. So in the left hand bar again, we're going to see posts. We're going to click on posts and here we're going to add new posts. Now, the same way we added a page, we're going to add our post. Now, once we're on post, we're just going to wait for it to load. So you're going to add any title like uh, if you've used blogger.com, this will be so much easier for you. So you're going to click on first post. Hi, this is my first post for my page. I'm just going to make this correction and from here on out, obviously you can bold your font or whatever you'd like, and then you're just going to publish this. Now, uh, you have to choose when you want to publish it and what URL you want to publish it to. And once you do that, you're just going to publish. You're going to check the settings. You're going to publish again. And from here on out, what's going to happen? We're going to wait for it to load real quick. And once it's loaded, you can click on view post. And once you click on view post, look at this. This is what our post looks like. So that is how easy it is to add posts and uh, uh, add a page. Now, obviously, you're wondering how do you add a product for that? Obviously, you're going to need to have WooCommerce and that you also need media for this. Basically, you add pictures or documents or videos for your products, which can be just click on add new. Once you click on add new, you're going to add your media. And from there on out, you're going to start putting it to your posts. And that is how easy it is to make pages and posts for your WooCommerce. And once your pages and posts have been created there on out, you can add your shipping rates. And that is how simple and easy it is to use WooCommerce or WordPress and add their shipping rates to your products. So yeah, uh, if you have any other questions related to this, let me know down in the comments and I'll help you straight away. If you want to see more videos like this, let me know as well. I'll make more of them for you. But yeah, until then, like the video, subscribe to the channel and share this with anyone in need. Uh, and yeah, until then, I hope you all keep having a great day. That was all from me and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.